Now the question is log under root x plus mod of under root x minus 1 to the base 3 is equal to log 4 under root x minus 3 plus 4 mod of under root x minus 1 and here the base is 9. So first what I'll do is I'll write this base 9 as 3 square. And then I'll use the property of base. So if I'll take this 2 out, then it'll be 1 by 2. So I can write log under root x plus mod of under root x minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 log to the base 3. And this is 4 under root x minus 3 plus 4 mod of under root x minus 1. Now I'll take this 2 on left hand side and I'll take this 2 to the power of this log. So I can write this log under root x plus mod of under root x minus 1 whole square and this is log 4 under root x minus 3 plus 4 times mod of under root x minus 1. Now I can cancel log with log. So I'll get this as under root x plus mod of under root x minus 1 whole square and this is 4 under root x minus 3 plus 4 times mod of under root x minus 1. Now I'll take two separate cases. Case 1 when x lies between 0 and 1. When x lies between 0 and 1, then in that case, under root of mod x minus 1 is simply 1 minus under root of x. So I can write it as under root x plus 1 minus under root x whole square. And this is 4 under root x minus 3 and plus 4. And it is 1 minus under root of x. So under root x will cancel. Here also, root 4x and root 4x will cancel. So I'll get this result as 1 is equal to 1. And this is true for all x belongs to R. But then this result, it has come with the condition, which is x should lie between 0 and 1. So from the first case, the answer I'll get is x should lie between 0 and 1. Now for the second case, when x is actually greater than 1, in that case, mod of under root of x minus 1 is equal to under root of x minus 1. So now I can write it as under root x plus under root x minus 1 whole square. And this is 4 under root x minus 3 plus 4 under root x minus 4. So I'll get this as twice under root x minus 1 whole square. And this is 8 under root x minus 7. So there will be 4 under root x whole square plus 1 minus 4 under root x. And this is 8 under root x minus 7. So I'll get this equation as 4 under root x whole square minus 12 under root x. And then plus 8 equals to 0. So if I'll divide by 4, so I'll get this as under root x whole square minus 3 under root x and plus 2 equals 0. Now, which is a quadratic equation in under root x. So, I can simply take under root x as y. So, I can simply take under root x as y. So, I can write as let under root x equals y. So, this is y square minus 3y plus 2 equals to 0. So, that is value of y is either 1 or value of y is 2. So that is under root of x is either 1 or under root of x is 2. So x is either 1, x is equal to 4. Now x equal to 1, it doesn't lie in this interval. So the only solution possible in this case is x equals to 4. So answer to this question is either the value of x lies between 0 and 1 or the value of x is 4.